we continue hearing from candidates for a local election that is this summer, so we need to pay attention. And this is Jennifer Owen, who is running for a seat on school board. She has one right now. We're talking about District 2. This is the area that you represent, including Gresham Middle, Inskip. Gives folks an idea of the area that you are representing now. Um, why are you running for re-election? Well, um, there really needs to be a voice of the teacher on the school board and recently there's been a, a real effort to sort of silence that voice. I am the only teacher right now, certified teacher who is on the school board, the only person who has taught in Knox County schools. And it used to be we would have several people with great deal of experience, either principals or, or teachers or someone who had some experience with the district. And I feel like you really need to have some kind of experience inside to know what kind of questions to ask so that you can get the real information. This is a partisan election. We were talking off camera. This changed a couple of years ago by the legislature. Why are you running as an independent? I don't feel that partisan politics belongs in school decisions. We need to really focus on the students and what students need. And pushing in all of these partisan issues, that's just really not in the student's best interest. We need to look at what they need and not at just partisan rhetoric. What do you think is the top issue facing the school district right now? I, I think it's the partisan issues really, mm -hmm. and it shouldn't be. It's all of the all of that outside noise that's trying to push issues into schools that really aren't relevant to schools. Um, and I've heard everything from abortion issues to um, Hitler, someone was talking to me about the other day. And these are not things that are relevant to what we're doing in schools right now. And it's not something that, that we should be taking our time on. We should be taking our time on looking at what our kids need. We've heard and we saw a divisive meeting just recently about books in schools and uh, the board voting um, down an effort to ban some books from schools. Um, and, and you making the case, let's leave, leave it to the process. We already have a good process. Moving ahead, what do you think is the best thing that you and your fellow school board members should focus on? As far as books specifically, mm -hmm. I, I think looking at the, keeping that process, the process that we have in place allows our parents, our students, anyone in the school to um, have a, a voice to say that they think something is not appropriate. And all they have to do is start that process and that book will be reviewed. Um, and even after it's reviewed, if the person who has complained doesn't agree, then there's another step and another step. And they have lots of lots of appeals there to get it seen all the way to the board to really determine if it's not appropriate. Only about 15 seconds left. You are the boss of the superintendent. What grade would you give Superintendent John Ryswick? Um, I, I think he is working really hard to do what's best for kids. Um, I think he came in um, almost too strong at first, and I think he is taking a, some time now to really look at things. He does a really good job of listening to um, concerns of parents. Anytime they ask him for a meeting, he's right there for them. So um, I, I think he's really, really moving up. In the A or B range, is that yes. what I'm hearing? Okay. Jennifer Owen, best of luck to you on the campaign trail. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. We're going to